Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome back to uh, Men in Arena. I'm joined here today with my buddy Gene Caulfield, Steph Holly Prandi on the other mic here, and Chris O'Brien on the camera duties. Uh, that's uh, the production for today, uh, and we are facing off. We have Morris versus Downingtown PA. Should be a really good game, uh, both skilled sides, uh, I think fairly evenly matched, and uh, Gino, I think we're in for a good one. Yeah, hopefully Mars uh, can rebound after their uh, their loss yesterday against Aspetuck. I'd like to see them to get their first 20 minutes, get that under their belt, yeah, and start playing. You know, instead of playing from behind, let's let's see if they can play from ahead. Today. Yeah, yeah, they got it. Yeah, they, they, it definitely. I think one of the critiques that we had yesterday, and I think it was agreed to as a group, is that uh, you know Morris had a slow start, and uh, in particular against a team like Aspetuck, and I would say Downingtown, who brings the tempo right away. You, it, it's got to be from the first whistle. 100% uh, so. agree. Yes. But you know what? In, historically, with Morris, we typically always play from behind. Yeah, it, you're right. It's, <laughs> I wish uh, I could say it's just this team, but it's been team after team after team. So we've always said it was a, it's always been kind of a second half team, and it always turns it on well. But you know, the unfortunate thing for for if you are a second half team, right? You're you're playing in a league now that is uh, 20 minute halves, 40 minute games, so you don't have the benefit of those extra 10 minutes on either side of that half to make it work. Kick is up. Downingtown will receive. It's uh, first breakdown just about the 22 on the far side. Downingtown opts to pick up off the back and run to the weak side. Uh, well, well read by Morris. Morris scraping that D across Gino. Uh, yeah, they're playing. They're playing right where they need to be right now. Yeah, yeah. So I, I like what I'm seeing too here from uh, uh, Van Doren out here with O'Brien. They're making sure that they're covered up on the uh, inside, sh on the outside shoulders here, making sure that they're marked up. The yeah, downtown's just playing a little pick and go all for right now. I'm gonna get the knock. So yeah, I think uh, in Downingtown, we're gonna see that. Um, I think they're gonna try to lull. Morris into that pick and go game and then you're going to start seeing the ball move through the hands of the backs because this is a very handy team in those numbers from uh, 9 through 15. Okay so first knock is called and we have scrum down far side just south of the 10 uh, in Downingtown territory put in by Cirillo. Cirillo nice little uh, feed there she's well covered by the opposite nine and it's an errant ball but it's well fielded by Rhodes. Jojo Mignoni off to Corfin, and unfortunately the pass meets uh, Van Doren at the laces, and it looks like there'll be the knock called here. Yeah, we spoke with Coach Dobbs last night, and you know he, he said that he wanted to try to get his back line a little spread out a little bit more, a little steeper. They're a little too flat yesterday. Yeah, I think so. And we were talking about it this morning, and it's like, uh, you know, I think uh, Cirillo and Mignoni had a pretty good day yesterday, and it was just that second and third receiver that – Whatever it was, was just it wasn't making those connects, and hopefully they've been able to talk through that and make those changes. Good pack down work here from Morris. This is, uh, that was the eight man pick, and that's Pasco in the eight jersey for, uh, for Downingtown. Uh, penalties called, not sure. I didn't catch the arm gesture there, Gino. Oh, diving. Diving over, okay. Yeah. So Cirillo opts to kick to touch and finds it easily. Good kick. Make some, uh, make some easy yards there for him. Better day to kick today than it was yesterday. Absolutely. Cirillo had a tough time. Ball kept blowing back inbounds every time she tried to get it out. Yeah, both kickers were having a rough day yesterday. I mean, it was just gusting and uh, tough, for, tough for any kicking duties. First line out platform we see here, uh, that's Caitlin Maroney with the put in from Morris. Up goes O'Brien, great hands there. The mall's called. Nice work from Morris here. Good signature Dobbs mall work right here. You can see the forwards piling in. Great momentum here, folks. I'm thinking they might. Oh, okay, it's gone down. Ball's a little bit loose in the back. Well take, oh, unfortunately, Van Doren. Will she play it back? Knock or there on. was a first knock, there I guess. There was a knock on first. Okay, so nice ball work there. N nice ball work there. And then unfortunately, Aaron Ball comes out of the back. Uh, and they're unable to secure it, but uh, there was a knock that obviously we had missed there uh, that well, the referee called. Must have been in that ball. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Scrum down Cirillo with the put in. Cirillo, nice clean ball off the back there, just unfortunately at the laces for Mignoni, so making it hard to handle. 
and uh, we're going to get knock again. This time it's going to go in favor uh, Downingtown. So again, some jittery hands out there. Just have to get that ball up, put it in the hands, and uh, we should be able to start making that uh, that Morris magic happen. Yeah, that, that, that 10 for, for Morris, JoJo, I mean, I'd like to, if the ball's coming low like that, I'd like to see her just put it on her foot and just try to dribble it through like a soccer yeah. player. Yeah. Just save for play and, you know, maybe get lucky and somebody dives on the ball in the try zone. Yeah. You just got to get the ball up off the back, you know, make it nice and clean. Nice clean ball here for Downingtown. Inside switch play right there. Nice work. Well read by Morris as well. Downingtown with the ball, staying with them. Nice little, really good run here from, uh, is that the two, Gene? Yes, it was. Okay, and that would be uh, Lola McKerns with some nice yards there. Making more nice yards here. Uh, Downingtown certainly strong on the front foot here, getting their offense organized. There's that pod. Pod's well stopped by Morris. Yeah, you, you can see right now, Downingtown's dictating that they're gonna go pick and go right now because nobody was in the back line at all. Yep, yep, you're absolutely right. Oh, big counter ruck there from Downingtown, but it's gonna go Morris's way. Carry here from Barati. Barati taken down just north of the 50. Stolen. Penalty Morris for offside. Saw a lot of that yesterday, actually, the offside call. Yeah. And they, yeah. <laughs> We're going to leave that one alone, Chris. <laughs> okay, nice carry here from Sienna Miller. Sienna Miller's being uh, handled by some Downingtown uh, forwards right there. No. Ball's out to McNoney. McNoney looking for the space. She's chopped up. Cirillo with the ball out to Corfin. Corfin goes to O'Brien. O'Brien making a good carry here, trying to stay in bounds, and unfortunately driven out. Great, um, great defensive work from the 14. Uh, that's uh, Charlotte Davies. So yeah. good heads up play from Downingtown there to get the ball out. Yeah, Mars needs to feel that you know they got four people committed to a tackle with one person. They've got to look to get that ball back to someone, swing it back the other way. 100%. 100%. Ball's up, good take from Downingtown, moving the ball well off that platform. And that looks like uh, the 19, if I'm not mistaken, Ruby uh, Miscavige, who was moving the ball well for them. Got a lot of whistle, man. It's, uh, we got some jittery fingers out there, I guess. Scrum down far side. I believe it's a Morris pudding? Yes. Yes. Right now, it's a little bit of a stalemate. Downtown's yeah. made a couple of good runs and it's moving the ball down the field. Morris done the same thing, so you know something's got to break it at some point. Yeah. And good move there by Cirillo. Absolutely, getting that ball off in traffic right there. That was great cover work from the opposite nine, uh, Abby McGettigan. Oh, going in for the poach, they release. Cirillo opts to go to Maroney. Maroney looking for space. She's brought down just north of the five. Cirillo on the recycle, a little high ball to Mignoni. Mignoni to Miller. Miller's got support with Yerofeyev in the five jersey. Cirillo moving that ball quick off the back of those breakdowns. Wise through the hands into Rhodes. Rhodes into traffic. Rhodes is able to get it off. Nice little dish. Not sure who that went to, Gene. That, uh, that went to... Uh, Corfin, maybe? Corfin, yes. Okay. Corfin with some handy carries yesterday and just kind of repeating it today. Big poach here, turnover, but it's gonna come back penalty. Smart. Quick tap, Cirillo looks for it. She's got Maroney, Maroney barreling through, and there it is. Yeah, Morris, Morris is, they're, they're moving the ball well. Yeah. You know, this, this particular drive that they've had, at this point, they had so many players on the far outside. They got to move the ball quicker. Absolutely. Everybody keeps trying to run into the pack, which again, everybody tries to teach not to do that. Um, but there's three or four players on the outside. If they can exploit that, maybe a skip pass. I think they'll they'll put some more points down. I agree. And you know, and Cirillo and uh, Mignoni are moving the ball well. That's what Coach Mike wanted from them, right? They want quick ball off the back of those rucks. Yep. And to your point. That second, third receiver then has to be ready for when McNoney receives and they're, they're, they're getting going. So there's a little bit of a misstep there, it seems like, is what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully they can link that together. It, it's, almost, it's almost like, you know, the skip pass would be perfect yeah. at this point. Yeah. You know, the ball move faster than anybody trying to run across the field. So. Cirillo's good for the two points. That makes it seven zip for Morris. Not a bad pace of play right now. Referees 
calling a good game, as I would say. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. He's, he's obviously nailing the infractions. Yeah. Um, but he's not whistle happy where the game is stop and go, stop and go. Yeah, I just want to see some crisper passes off the back of those yep. rucks from both sides of the team so you're making it easier for your 10 to get distribution yep. going. 100%. You know, and let's get away from these knock-ons. Ball's up. Good high ball, good hang time there. Well fielded by Corfin. Corfin just looks north and starts oh. running. Man, she is slicing run in the backfield. She's well caught. Oh, great. Oh, so unfortunate. Oh, man, what great a great support. series of play. Yes. Great support there by O'Brien. Absolutely. Ball turned over going downing town's way. This is kind of what we've been seeing is like you get on that front foot and then boom, turns over. Yep. Nice series of play from Morris there. And there's Pasco again. You're going to hear that name a lot today. She's a hell of a ball carrier. Penalty Morris going to take the momentum off of uh, Pasco's carry there. Cirillo going quick, just off the shoulder of McNoney. Ball's loose in the backfield, a little bit of choppy play. Referee's letting it play on. Absolutely. Nice little dig out there from Maroney. Maroney right into traffic and stopped well. Now there's a fight for the ball. Okay. Look, I guess not releasing? Not releasing, yeah. yeah. She was holding on to that ball like... Uh, she was trying to turn. Uh, she was kind of turtled there and trying yeah. to get over, but uh, unfortunately the whistle came before she was able to get that ball back. But I, I like kind of the heads up play off the back of that that Maroney had, right? There was just a little bit too much traffic for it to be super effective. Yeah, no, I agree. Okay, trying to move the ball down the field. Make sure you got support. Yeah. Secure the ball. Yeah. And if you see a ton of white jerseys, try to get away from them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and Morris is playing good aggressive defense right now. They're up in Downingtown's face. Yeah, I think Coach Bill will be happy about that. He and Mike have been drilling it like crazy, and it's like, it's a, it's how practices start every uh, at, at every at every practice. Right. Not to be redundant. <laughs> practice at every practice for practice. Where are you practicing? Practice. Okay. Sienna Miller on the carry. Stopped pretty well by Dual, uh, by Downingtown. Downingtown with, uh, you know, getting it low right there. Nice little offload right there from McNoney to Maroney. Maroney, shoulder pushes off. She's still fending off. It looks like she might dot it down again. It is. Yep. Maroney for five in the corner. So, hey, look, that's exactly what Coach Mike is looking for off the back of those wrecks. Cirillo, real fast right there, right into the hands of Mignoni. Mignoni with that nice little quick through the hands, and then Maroney's off to the races. And good couple of shoulder fends right there, keeping her on her feet, and she's able to put down for five. Tough kick coming up, though. Oh, we've seen Abby make these before. Sure. Yeah, not, not all the time, but we've seen her make them yeah. before. Yeah, no, she's, she's, got, she's got a good foot. She's a competent kicker, but this is a... And of course, the wind picks up. Of course. So 12-0 uh, uh, in favor of Morris here in the first half of uh, this, uh, this, this this game between uh, Downingtown PA and Morris uh, Rugby uh, from uh, Morris County, New Jersey. Much better sequence there from Morris. Yes. Uh, Downing, Downingtown looks a little discombobulated right now. On the defensive side of the yeah. ball, I think so. I mean, offensively, they seem to be putting it together, but defensively, Morris is making some hay. It's a good strike. Very good strike. And it's and good. Makes it. Wow, under some adverse conditions, that makes it 14 zip. Cirillo with a big, big kick. You can hear the crowd in the background. We saw her down at uh, Brunt Park miss a bunch because of the wind. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, she's got the leg to make it there. Yeah, yeah. Well, she also, she's the kind of kid that puts in the extra work, you know, outside of practice, right? Yeah. It's the only way you get better. That's that's absolutely right. That's a, it's a skill that just, uh, that only develops through repetition, repetition, repetition. Yep. Three hours. And repetition. Of, three hours of practice a week doesn't do it. You got to do put in more time. Yeah, yeah. Ball's up, on a line drive kick to the back, played backwards by Corfin, well fielded by O'Brien. O'Brien looking for some space. O'Brien with a big carry here, supports there in the form of Corfin, Ronsky, and there's your nine in the back digging it out, Cirillo. Cirillo, hit. big hit there from Pasco, really making some trouble for Morris here, trying to get their feet back under them. Uh, looks like good. an advantage to Morris for something. Good idea on the kick, but nicely fielded here by number 14, Charlotte Davies. 
So Davies, the winger, back here making that cover on the green. So that kick, although a great read, was, was well fielded over here. Uh, unfortunately, results in a knock on it. Right. It looks like it's going to go Morris's way. Looks like that rain might be coming in sooner than later. Cirillo, nice little strike there from Barati. Makes it easy. Great work from, uh, yeah, that nine might have been a little bit off sides, me get it because that was quite a painting she put on it. Great play there by Jojo Mignoni. Big time, like just snatches that ball out of the air. Cirillo out to Marks. Marks looking for the big carry, trundling run, support is there. Barati getting rucked, uh, Barati rucking it out. Miller with the carry. Okay, there's a whistle there, penalty. Yeah, the, the problem is the number five for Morris is, is basically just diving on top of the ball carrier. So yeah. the referee's gonna call off her, off her feet every time. And yeah, Yerofe has gotta keep her feet in there. Just get in there, bounce that first player, and then seal it off. Ball's coming right at us. Nice work here from Van Doren. Van Doren with the kind of a dish out to nowhere. Barati picks it up. Nobody wanted that one, Gene. No, no. <laughs> Hot potato. <laughs> Cirillo doing some nice work here. Yerofeyev on the carry, still on her feet, brought down. There's Miller sealing it off. Nice work. Good job there by the forwards. Yeah, nice work from the tight three working in conjunction. And then Mignoni looking for some help here. Ronsky trying to cover off. Mignoni's able to get a pop pass off the ground there. And Rhodes is making some good yards here to Maroney. Maroney having a day, folks. Nice carries from her. And she's able to get the offload off to Corfin. Oh! Unfortunately, Corfin is poached, and it looks like it's going to stay with uh, Downingtown. Yeah. Downingtown with the big carry there. It looked like Pasco. Yeah, we've got a whistle. So, yeah, Morris just kind of lost their composure here at about the... Uh, just about the 10, I think, or at the 50, and that's where that pressure D from uh, Downing uh, uh, from Downingtown came into play. Yeah, Downingtown, uh, Downingtown is, is very quick off the ball on mm -hmm. the defensive side. I think one only suggestion we make to maybe uh, number 10 for Morris would be uh, back up a couple of yards. You're, you're right in front of the, the players, right in your that's face every time. Just move back a couple yeah. of yards. Give yourself a little distance. You give yourself that breathing room, right, so you can get your feet under you. Yep. Sir's calling it up. Uh, maybe he didn't like something with the uh, the engage there. Yeah, we'll try round two. So this is going to be a Downingtown put in just about the 50 in Downingtown territory. That's uh, McGettigan on the put in. Abby. See, yeah, now it, it, the that pile shouldn't be moving as much as it is. No, no. Ball looks like it came out far side. Ball's loose in the ground there. A bit of a melee as they're trying to figure it out. Yeah, big counter ruck there from Morris. And the ball's going to go Morris's way. Here's a big carry from Maroney. Maroney looking for help. Oh! That'll yeah, that, that no look pass back. is going to hurt you. Yep, it's going to come back as a knock. <clears throat> so scrum to Morris. There was a knock on previous to the ball coming out. Okay. Yeah, I, you know, I... Um, I'm, I'm not a big proponent of the no-look pass, and that's that's exactly what happens when when you don't make eye contact with your, your receiver. Yeah, and, and granted, we're off the side of the field here. I mean, the, the other player could have been saying, hey, um, to your left, to your left, right? Yeah. At least we're not hearing that, but it yeah, could, true, very, true enough. could very, true enough. very well be happening. But I, I think in situations like that, if you can't get a good, crisp, clean ball off and you're in traffic like that, just, you know, bury it and dig it in. Take it to ground. Jojo with a bit it's of a grubber on. kick. It's yep. stopped. Might be, yeah, the knock it's is gonna called. It's going to be a knock. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to play the advantage right now and see what happens. That's a great kick idea right there from yep. Cirillo, finding that green space, and the chase is on. I'd like to see a little bit more chase out of that black jersey. They're kind of jogging to it. <coughs> I agree. I, I agree. Mean, kick is only as good as the chase, and, uh, you know, you got to make hay with it when you can. Ball's turned over. Downingtown out of their five. Good, good, strong run here by Downingtown. Yeah, yeah, competent team. Downingtown recycles. Oh, oh, nice little grab there at the laces from Pasco. Wind's picking up here, and it looks like weather's changing, uh, unfortunately, to the, uh, to I the think, negative. I think we're going to be fine. 
Yeah. No snows in the forecast. Rain's coming. <clears throat> Penalties called back. Gene, I didn't catch an arm on that. I, I didn't either. Um, I, I'll say this. The referee is allowing them to play. Uh, yeah. You know, obviously playing the advantage. And, and at other times we've seen, you know, as soon as a penalty happens, the whistle's blown. Absolutely. So nice to see, nice to see playing the advantage, see how it's going to happen with the play as, as it develops. A hundred percent. And I think that's an underutilized skill from a referee, right? And it's great to see. He's like, okay, I got, I've got you, but let's just see how this plays right. out so we can right. keep the game, the, the continuity keep moving. moving. Keep it moving. Yeah. As a player and a coach, I mean, you hate to stop and go. I yeah. Mean, just as you start getting something, it's like, oh, got to stop again. Yeah, and it's, you know, rugby at, at its at its core is a fluid game, right? Yes. And it's like, and, and the more whistle there is, the less uh, the less that a team can get that going. <clears throat> Fireball right there, well fielded in the back uh, off that tiller roll. And ball Gee. moving well through the hands of Downingtown here, Gene. Morris, oh! Morris defense is right there. No, good, good job there by Van Doren. Absolutely. Hold that ball, do not throw it away. So this is what I'm. This is where you just need a little bit of patience there, right? You yep. want to move quickly off the back, but make a good pass. Yes, yes. Sienna Miller with the carry. Nice ball there from Cirillo. Sienna makes a good ten yards there. Yep. Penalties being called back. Infringement. Huh? I'm not sure. Sec All right. Knock. Sec secondary singles would be good, but. Yeah. Yeah, That's helpful. Okay. It's okay. Or just yell out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, help us out over here. <laughs> so anyway, I, evidently there was a knock that was called back there. So uh, it's being brought back. Hopefully we'll start to see these hands warm up a little bit because conditions aren't bad. I mean, this eight-man pick from Ronsky. Ronsky throws Smart uh, play. one out. Smart play. Absolutely. Rhodes looking for <clears throat> space. She's able to get the ball off. Van Doren with nice work there to O'Brien. O'Brien with a big carry and fighting to hold on. She's trying to get, just get to the ground, get to the ground. Yeah. She's there, trying. I think she's finally made it. You know, heads up play from uh, Downing trying, trying to keep that ball up and get the whistle for the uh, yep. being held up. There it is. Hard work from O'Brien there, just unlucky. Yep. N nice series of play there though. That was some good offload work from the Morris, uh, the Morris side. Started with Van Doren, who's able to get one off there. And then ball's coming our way. And the lucky fan. And the lucky fan. <laughs> All right, so just as a reminder for you folks, we're kind of winding down the first half here. 20-minute halves, league play for the EGRL. Morris in the lead at 14-0, to zero, but Downingtown uh, certainly in this game 100%. That's... Uh, Dixon Logic having a quick chat with her hooker, Lola McKerns. Good hard Balls tackle in. there by number three from Morris. Absolutely, absolutely. Good little cheese play there from uh, Downingtown, but well read by Morris. This is what we're talking about, Gene. Pasco yeah. just makes the hard yards. Yes. So opt opting for uh, the pod, uh, pod play here. It looks like they're running two to three on a pod. Ball's loose, penalty called, offsides. Downingtown will take their time here. Not not bad. Morris, good back. idea. You know, clock's winding down here. I would have tapped and gone. Yeah. Yeah. They kicked the touch, and it's going to be a Downingtown line out right here, uh, right by the cameras. Like in the new Downingtown jerseys. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, sharp. Balls up from McKerns, right into the hands, down the mall's there. Oh, unfortunately, it just, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's where, you know, we talk about this all the time when you're drilling that line out is like, you gotta bring that player down safely on their feet. Yes. She was dropped down on her butt, you know, and that, and that ain't gonna work. She also didn't have any really support. She kind of came down and they dropped her. Yeah, exactly. You that's, know. you know, she goes up safely, she comes down safely. High tackle by Morris. Okay, first high tackle call. It looks like both teams have been pretty conscious of that, which is good news. Sorry? First, first call of the weekend. I see what you're doing there. I'm, I'm avoiding that conversation. <laughs> 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 okay, balls kicked to touch far side. We should be winding down at this point. I mean, we're... Yeah, we're getting close. There's probably a player two, two, two or three, Two or three minutes over. The 
I guess he's letting Downingtown kind of work this momentum that they have right now. You know, they're on the front foot, so, you know, looking to see if they can get something. We have a player down. Uh, it looks like, is that the five? Yes, number five. So that's number five. That's um, Eve Staley. Hopefully uh, we'll see her back up under her own power quickly. Looks like she might just be getting a quick rest there. Didn't quite see what happened to her, but uh, you know, must have been a pretty good hard knock. Uh, after the line out, she uh, looked like she was getting a little uh, ill. Uh -huh. Fertilizing the grass for us. Uh, it looks like she might be walking off, unfortunately, yeah. so uh, they'll be subbing in for the five, Staley. <laughs> okay, nice uh, photo of uh, close up of uh, Mike Eisenhart in his regalia. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Mike wanted to uh, switch a little bit of the uh, the badness from yesterday over, so he decided to decorate himself today like a uh, well, well, I someone, don't know. someone out on Halloween. Necessarily, <laughs> if he decided, or that Dobbs and company decided. <laughs> I, I think it was uh, by committee, and yeah. I'd say the committee was the entire. Team. <laughs> yeah, they were very happy to. Cirillo be... punches it out. Yeah, that's the half, Gene, right there. You yeah. were right. We were getting real close. So Cirillo, good time, you know, good clock management on the field, kicks it out, gets the blow that both teams need for that five minutes, and yep. kind of have a quick chat with the coaches, get some get some well needed water, and then we'll be back with uh, second half action. Let's take a breather, Gino. Alrighty.
folks, we're coming back to you with uh, live action second half of uh, Morris versus Downingtown here at uh, Menon Arena. As uh, I said earlier, I'm joined by my uh, friend and colleague, uh, Jean uh, Caulfield, who uh, at one time was uh, uh, head of the program that uh, you're watching play here today, has since uh, moved on and uh, actually working with the boys program now quite a bit with uh, Rich Corney and... Uh, and those folks. Yeah, no, it's 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 been good. It's kind of like a, a, a gun for hire. That's the way I like to call myself now. Nice, <laughs> nice. That's good. Okay. Keep, keeps me out of the house. Keeps me off the streets. Chris O'Brien is always on the camera duties and making sure that uh, all the technical stuff is working. Thank you, brother. And uh, we're just about to kick off right here. The restart duties are going to be with Downingtown. Morris has got the field painted correctly. All the corners covered. A couple of substitutions for Morris. Yeah, ball's up. Good high ball there. Great hang time. Well fielded by Galarza. Galarza just looking right away for uh, the open spaces and finding some. Brought down just about the 10. Big high ball that's brought down by uh, Marks. Nice work for her to do that. Uh, not an easy thing to do when you got a rib breaker coming at you like yeah. that. <laughs> nice work from Maroney on the far side. Ball moving well through the hands of Morris right here, Gene. Yep. Looking good. Uh, a lot crisper than uh, the first half. Yeah, first half we saw a lot of balls at the shoelaces. Yeah. Now not not so many. Much much yeah. better ball. Much much better ball here. Yerofeyev on the carry takes two with her. Well sealed by Ronsky. Balls recycled quickly by Cirillo. This is a big carry here from Sadie. Good ball. It's Pearson Massey. Uh, nice nice work here from. Uh, oh really unselfish play there from Mark. She gets the ball off well. Ball's moving really well for Morris here. Great through the hands work. And okay. the ball's out. Unfortunately, the ball's driven out on the far side. So good work from Downingtown to use that white paint over there, that 16th defender, right? Yep, much much better passing there. D Downingtown doing a good job getting up in the face of Morris yeah. on the defensive side. But, you know, again, committing two or three players to a tackle. Somebody's got to be open. Yeah, absolutely. Mor Morris made some nice work there, uh, you know, and then unfortunately was driven out. But... Ball's up, downing town. Oh, it's lost in the back. Ronsky's able to cover it off the back of that, but uh, knock is called, and it's going to go to uh, downing town. Ronsky really coming on as a good player in that eight jersey. Yeah, she's been, I mean, she's been with the club for four years. Yeah. So, uh, you know, at a certain point, something's got to click, right? Yeah, it really has. It, it really, you started to see it uh, the end of last season, and certainly this season just coming out as a force. She's doing some nice work in the eight. Some of it's just confidence. Yeah, yeah. She's a student of the game, too, and yeah. I think that, that plays in her favor. Nice little pick off the back here. I think that was Pasco. Yes, it was. Tell right from here, but there's a little bit of a melee going on there. Cirillo tenaciously in that tackle. The arm's out, Gino. I didn't catch yeah. it. Oh, boy, good tackle there by Morris. High tackle. I, th I think it wasn't such a high tackle. It was, I guess, when they were going down to ground. Yeah. The opposing player was uh, probably up Just in that neck slid, area. Yeah. In, in that neck area. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't intentional or anything, but it's it's got to be called yes. for the safety of the game. So nice kick to touch there. Good yards made by uh, I just, I think that was McGettigan on the kick, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Number the ten. nine. Oh, the nine. The, that was the nine. Okay, so that was her sister Abby. We've got two McGettigans, nine and ten. Abby at nine and Lily at ten. As long as we go with the last name, we'll be good. We're getting him, we're getting him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yeah, listen, I, I think uh, it's some good, some good rugby out here today. There's nothing chippy about it. Two good teams, you know, putting on a, putting on a good game. Cheese ball to the front. Yeah, not Doesn't straight. Look like it worked out. It'll be Morris's put, and we scrum. Ball not straight. Morris does have their choice either the line out or a scrum down. Morris pack down has been. Pretty solid the opening part of this season, I tell you what. So I think that's probably a good option call right there. They they were given uh, Aspatuck some what for yesterday on mm -hmm. the back downs for sure. Yep. And Aspatuck is they're 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 a handy one through eight side too. Referee having a couple of words with the front row there. Always worthwhile. Yep. Always worthwhile. I can see right now it's it's the far side of prop. Her arm is just not in the right spot. Not getting that bind right. No. Nope. Yeah, nope. and that's either going to end. Yeah, that's going to collapse that side, and that's not what you want. See, she's already pushing. Yeah. 
Boy, he really doesn't like that, huh? No. Okay. Well, they got to work something out there. So, look, it's a technical job. I mean, that one through three is, um, you know, it's you, you got to do it right or you're you're endangering the whole group. Yep. Cirillo finally is able to get the put in there. Yeah, it's um, definitely Again, that finally. offside. Yeah. yeah, and he called it. Yeah, yeah. So that, that'll take some of the oomph out of that game as he's starting to see that now. Cirillo comes back to the mark. Gene, I think you were saying that the, making the mark call is, is becoming super important. Is that something? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Come out of your uh, recent uh, Education. certification. <laughs> Education. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to learn the rules after you've been coaching for several years. Yes, yeah, absolutely. What the hell would you do it for beforehand? I... <laughs> How'd you know that penalty? Uh, it's nah. Osmosis. <laughs> nah, a penalty, whatever. It's a it's a law, not a rule, That's and right. I can interpret it the way I like. <laughs> good good line out there. Yeah, it was a bit of a bobbled line out, but uh, O'Brien's able to get a hand on it and make sure it goes Morris's way. Big charging run here from uh, Galarza. Galarza dishes it back off to uh, Pearson Massey. Pearson Massey's able to get it back. Nice work. Into the hands of uh, McNoney. McNoney to Corfin. Corfin to O'Brien. O'Brien decides to tuck it away and goes in. Nice work. There's the support 9-10 as you expect. Nice little ball work there from uh, from Rhodes, but unfortunately he's lost in the backfield a little bit. Yeah. Ronsky seals off. Big counter rucking from, uh, oh, blocked kick. Cirillo just didn't look up quick enough to see that those hands were there. Nice work from Downingtown and they're able to hold on to it here. There goes McKerns on the carry. McKerns still trundling through. She's brought down just about the 10. There's that poach. It's in there. Yep, yeah. Yep. Holding on. Nice work from Morris. And they're not 10. We'll see what happens. It looks like he's going to let that ride uh, because Morris is on the front foot. Maroney yep. unselfishly out to Rhodes. Rhodes looking for someone. I think she's found it in... Taryn. Yeah, Taryn Gonzalez. Corfin just looking, uh, looking for the yards, and she gets some right there. She's able to get the ball back securely for Cirillo. See, that's good. Mora slowed down a little bit there. They didn't start playing helter-skelter. They slowed the ball, get everybody set. Yep. And then bring the ball back out again. Pearson Massey having some good carries here today. Ronsky with a good run. Yeah, Ronsky always secure with the ball, gets it back. She's sealed off. JoJo looking for the opportunities. Nice ball into Maroney. Maroney breaks that tackle, breaks another tackle. She's still moving. Just short, seal the ball. Yeah, Maroney brought down just at the five. And there it is. It looks like they worked the ball to that weak side over there and dropped it in. I didn't catch who that. That was uh, Galarza. Nice work from Layla Galarza. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't. That was uh, Taryn Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Just recently committed to uh, your Saint, alma mater. St. Bonaventure, she's gonna be a Bonnie. Good for her. Great Thank program she's going to program that started as club uh, went to division two last year and they made their announcement uh, in the early spring that they were moving up to division one so and she'll definitely get some time up there I hear unfortunately Tui Osborne well, unfortunately for Bonaventure Tui Osborne's moving on to a role in the MLR yeah he uh, he's uh, I believe he's the, he's on the coaching committee I don't know if he's the head coach or not with uh, Miami okay um, but uh, uh, Danny neighbor who was his assistant longtime assistant uh, is now uh covering the men's program okay uh, so again there's really no drop off with there Danny's a great person great coach uh, and uh, they've got a great team up there continue to recruit well yeah hats off to Tui uh, you know I think uh, you know that that program was ne needed some uh, some anchoring yeah. and he came in about five or six years ago and as the director of rugby pulled both programs up together and uh, you know I'm sure he'll be missed but moving on to some uh, some big things for himself as well yeah, Tui's, Tui's wife, I believe, is from a Buffalo area. So once he left life, one of uh, one of the players that I happen to know, uh, Billy Kelly, uh, he uh, got in touch with Tui and said, hey, we have this opportunity. What do you think? And Tui jumped all over it. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And, and great, for, you know, great for St. Bonaventure. Absolutely. I mean, both the men's and the women's program. The, the model was the same. The men moved forward a little bit quicker. Yep. And then the women followed right behind there. So uh, real, real good, good way of recruiting. So here's the restart. The score is going to be uh, 19 to Morris, uh, unfortunately zero for the time being for Downingtown. And uh, that score was done by Gonzalez. We're about in the 11th minute of the second half. Balls up. Galarza on the uh, receive. 
and she's making the hard yards again. Great little dish there to Massey. Unfortunately, Massey drops it forward, and the knock's called. Also, substitute uh, um, O'Brien has gone off, and Goncalves has come in in, uh, in her spot in the uh, second row. You'll see her in the 17 jersey. So, sorry, uh, that was DJ Corridan who was brought off, and uh, uh, Sorry? DJ with the knock. Well, DJ with the knock. So, okay, apologies there, folks. DJ with the knock, and it's going to be a Downingtown put in. So there's McGettigan on. Ball goes, it's struck, a taken again, from the head. Again, that's, that's, <laughs> the scrum half is just all over her. Good little switch the field here. Gonzalez trying to find her way out of there. She gets it off to McNoney. McNoney looking for the yards, but Downingtown is right there. Got great. support. Absolutely. Got great support there. Nice work from Morris right there from uh, some good pressure D, under the good pressure D of Downingtown. Ball moving well for Morris. I, I'm really impressed by the, the, the two props for Morris in the second row. Yeah. Supporting each other. Every time the ball's going down, there's a second one right there every time. Nah, they're sealing off the rucks well. There's a lot of good hard work there being done by the, uh, the tight five. Smart. Cirillo looking for options, but uh, doesn't have them. So it looks like high tackle might have the short arm out there. I don't think it was done intentionally, obviously, just met her kind of high. Um, arm still out. Smart, smart play, though, by her, because yeah. she's, every time they've run a penalty, she's thrown the ball out. Well, you know what? Take that opportunity. Maybe give a little juke. Yeah. And you, and you go through, you find a hole. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, momentum started to shift there, so the arm will be called. Um, and uh, it looks like they might be opting for the three points here, which is a good idea. No, I think they're going to run a play here. There's no, there's no T being run out here. Okay. They're no, gonna they are going to. I, I, I mean, not that, you know, they've got a pretty commanding lead at the moment, but take those points, get the ball back, and start again. Yeah. Maroney takes it off the shoulder, and she's making the hard yards again, unselfishly Corfin. to Corfin. Try ordered. And Corfin puts it down. So that's going to make that um, Morris 24 with Corfin on the score. I agree, I agree with you, Steph, on that. I, I think, you know, you're up a couple of tries here. I, play play for the earlier part of the game, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're 22 meters out, if that. Go for points. Yeah. You know, it just at this point right now, it's you got a, probably about seven, eight minutes to go in the game. Uh, yeah, take take the put, three put, points. Put a little put a little pressure on you, right? You're not kicking all over the place, right? So, right, and those three points make a difference, right? If you're getting into tight games, those conversions and those penalties are going to be the thing that brings you over the top, yep. right? Not necessarily the case here, but the other component to that is you get your three points and then you get the ball back on the restart, so you're already on the front foot again. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Tough kick here. Cirillo got a good boot on that though. Unfortunately, target slightly off. She uh, she cuts it to the far side post, but nice strike. Yeah. Ball really well worked on that series before that dot down from Corfin from uh, from Morris as a team. Yes. I think they worked the ball back and forth across the field. Well done through the hands, and then Maroney just making some great yards today. And you know those shoulder fends are out there, and she's uh, then unselfishly you know in the five dishing off to Corfin to make it. Well, the, the better part is in the past, you know, she would be running by herself. Now there's support yeah, yeah. around her. Yeah, she's she's definitely made uh, some big strides there. Galarza doing some great work on these restarts uh, in the 19 jersey. She's just playing angry. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. <laughs> okay, offsides again. Uh, so we'll get the penalty here. Let's see what uh, it looks like they're going to opt to kick to touch if I'm not. Yep. And that almost hit the camera. Yeah, I think she's looking for the camera. <laughs> Chris, you better have words with Cirillo after this. <laughs> so 24-0 uh, for Morris, but, uh, you know, Downingtown, nobody's heads are down. You know, you can hear uh, players cheering them back on to, you know, stay in the game, and uh, I think that's a, a, a very commendable uh, way to get after this game. Yeah, we've got about six and a half to go in this match. Ball's up, wow, goes into the hands of uh, B. This is, is going to be a nice carry here from McKerns. McKerns got the support, too, from her uh, one and two, uh, for her one and three. 
and the 15. Big carry here from the 16. That's going to be uh, Towels. Heard her name quite a bit last time we saw them in the spring. Uh, good ball carrier, yep. competent work. So, yeah, nice work here from Downingtown. Well brought down, though, by uh, Morris right there, just north of the five. Good tackle there by Morris. Big sticking tackle Galarza. from Galarza. <laughs> oh, boy. Talk about a kid who punches above her weight, right? Yeah, yeah. Downingtown looking good here, though. Oh, big poach there. And I think that was DJ Corden on the carry. Smart play here. Yes. Kick to that green space. Nice recover there from, is that the sixth jersey, Gino? Uh, it was uh, or Mignone, McGettigan. Uh, Mignone who, uh, who dribbled the ball through there. Yeah, that was just what you were talking about earlier in the first half, the soccer skills, right? Yep. A couple of different signals out there by the referee. He didn't catch any of them. Yeah, evidently <laughs> it's going to a knock. I think at it's one point he was, doing a, I think he was doing a Macarena at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Infringements galore. <laughs> Ooh, that weather's changing here. Yeah, it's like the Wizard of Oz. I'm telling you. Oh, Ball's out. I guess the yard work will have to wait. Nice ball here, good ball movement from Morris. Smart play there. Here comes DeMarco wow. slicing the runs just up from the U14's program. Having a nice go of things. Nice work off the back there. Gonzalez trying hard. She's brought down. She holds on, gets the ball back. Cirillo recycles. Mignoni looking for space, eyeing her options. Mignoni well handled by Downingtown right there, but she's able to get the ball back. That might have been a little bit off her feet, but Marks with a big carry here. Still moving. Good Pumping momentum. those legs. Yep. Nice low forward movement. Oh, nice ball there from uh, Maroney. That thing was going. Uh, that thing was going into the stratosphere. Penalty, Morris. Sir is calling the mark back. Mignoni jogging back with it. The only thing I think, I think he's calling right there is possibly offside. Yeah. But. Okay. Ball moving a little. Nervously through the uh, the black jersey's hands, but uh, they're able to hold on here. Great job sealing. Absolutely, that's Goncalves in the 17 jersey, new to the program, but uh, really coming on strong with the game. Actually, second season for her. Morris trying to dig the ball out. Yeah. Mignoni quick through the hands to Maroney. Mignoni Maroney, great combination today. There's Pearson Massey again. It looks like no. Pardon me. That's uh, that's B. B. Hughes. Knock on. Her father is actually uh, coaching the boys program with you, correct? Head Lisa. coach. Yeah, Gareth. Yep. Roughly about two and a half to go. Yeah, so, you know, short, like we said, uh, shortened halves, uh, you know, for league play. And plus, uh, the girls having played yesterday, there's only 80 minutes that they can play in a weekend. So it's 20s. It's two 20-minute periods, uh, same thing today, so it's it's a quick-moving game. Morris uh, doing a better job of uh, getting it off uh, on the front foot with the first whistle today versus yesterday against Aspatuck. And, and we said that at the very beginning of the game, right? Yeah. They had to get off on, on their yep. front foot right away, and they did. Yeah, because you, you, can't, you can't do that with the, you, you can't lay back on your heels with uh, Aspatuck. They're gonna take it to you every time. Some front footwork here from uh, Downingtown. Oh, unfortunately, are they able to hold on? Back and forth, back and forth, the knock. It's actually gonna go Morris's way. So that ball was ping-ponged a little bit back and forth, so yeah. it'll, it'll go off the first knock, which was in favor of Morris. Gotta be Clinton getting close to one of the last plays, I'd say. Yeah, we're, we're approaching a minute to go. Okay. So at this point, Morris would be smart. Just hold the ball in. Yeah. You know, do what you can do to move the ball in the back line. And then it's a certain point, yeah, you know. Keep the ball in close, run that clock down, and then uh, field management, get that ball out. Nice little sneak there from Galarza. Oh, big poach. Pasco just not having it. Nope. <clears throat> She's well protected right there. 
And here goes Towels on the on the front foot again. Great little run from Towels. Oh, a little stolen working. there. Yeah, yeah, that hands was hands in. in. Yep. It was good effort. I'll take that penalty any day, right? And get that aggressive uh, that aggressive work around the breakdown. That that, that could have gone several different ways. Ball's coming our way over here. Nice kick to touch, making a few yards for Downingtown. McKern's at the ready. We're, we're at that point now where it probably could be the last play. Yeah, it's getting close. McKern's will have a quick chat with her uh, partner in crime right there in the three jersey, Dixon Logic. Going to the second jumper, nice clean ball off the top. McGettigan gets it out to her sister, McGettigan in the 10. Nice little switch play right there from McGettigan. And there's 14 on the carry, and that's going to be Charlotte Davies. Davies making some hard yards here. Yep. Great little dish off the ground from Davies. Oh, really big work there. Downingtown looking really good here. Yes. Recycling the ball well. There's, get, there's great passes coming off the back there, right into the hands. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, I, I think five's coming for him here, and I'd like to see that happen. Unfortunately, you know, it's going to be a little bit too late. I mean, they've yeah. kind of squandered the second half, if you will. They're moving the ball, though. Absolutely, good. absolutely. This is they, Oh, they've got the go. overload. There it is, folks. And there goes Davies going to take it in for five. Yeah. Nice work. That was really well worked ball from uh, from Downingtown. All, Holy way from, cow. all the way from the, the 22 back here, all the way up, some great passes, a couple of good offloads. Yeah, I mean, uh, Towel started it over here, right? Yeah, good yeah. charging run right here. She's then supported well at the breakdown. Ball starts moving off the uh, through the hands of McGettigan to McGettigan, right? Yep. Ball gets out to Davies. Davies makes those hard yards again. They start to recycle, move the ball to the near side. Really well done. We saw this yesterday with the kicker also laying on the ground yeah. and placing ball. I hope they realize they only have a minute to kick. <laughs> Power down. I get it. I'm all for it. Is it, it looks okay. like it's going to be good. That's good. Yeah. So that's uh, Davies on the kicking duty. She'll make it uh, not only dot it down, but make it seven. And that's the whistle. So um, Downingtown gets on the board. Uh, in the dying minutes of the second half here, the final score is uh, 24 to seven in favor of Morris. Uh, I don't think the uh, score line belies the effort that Downing, uh, Downingtown put out there today, Gino. Uh, but, agreed, agreed. You know, I, it's just a couple, a tough, a couple of tough breaks for Downingtown. Yeah. You know, they, they move the ball well, uh, and then all of a sudden there would be uh, a mistake. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. And the mistakes are the part that they continue to stop you from moving forward and making progress turning the ball over to the other team yeah but i mean they're they're, they're a solid team i mean I, I don't know what their what their ages are if they're mostly uh underclassmen or not but i mean they're, they're, like, be, they're good yeah they're very good they've got one two three it looks like seniors about seven or eight juniors and then it's a mix of uh nine and ten so kind of young squad yeah, yeah. young squad you lose in three yeah you pick up a couple of more later on uh you know that that, that gets you to move forward you have, a, you have a great great base here to build off of yeah yeah and, and look I, I mean i love the hugs afterwards people you know uh just kind of having a good chat with one another uh you know good sportsmanship right there really in the spirit of the game of rugby and uh you know now uh It'll be off to that tent for uh, some eats for everybody, and uh, should be uh, should be nice. So big win uh, here for Morris today. Nice work from Downingtown. Good, two good sides uh, kicking off their EGRL seasons, um, uh, meeting each other for the first time anyway. Uh, Gino, um, any standout players for you? You know, I, I think, uh, you know, Abby Sorolla, she's been playing hard. I, yeah. I really like the way uh, uh, the front uh, props were playing, uh, specifically uh, number two three and number five uh they, they did a lot of hard ball carrying out there absolutely and then they had you know some really good uh some so solid play after that i mean mignoni she played her usual solid game uh cirillo yeah. obviously uh they're corfin, a great nine ten combo yeah, corfin you know yeah. corfin's you know, st uh, you know she's always no, there no, punches above her weight yeah. all the time yep. consistently yep. yeah and you know you get galarza in there who's again like i said you know she's playing angry because she hasn't been able to play in a year yeah. Um, but, you know, she's out there playing angry, making making hard runs, making good tackles. Big on the restarts today for yes. her. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. yes. And, you know, I think we'd be remiss if we didn't mention uh, 
we didn't shout out uh, Caitlin Maroney for some big yards runs, big yard runs today, and, to, and a couple of scores out of it as well. Yeah, yeah, no, she played solid. Um, you know, it's it's her. Come, she's coming back from an injury, also. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. So you know, this is the time we want to start clicking, right? You yep. got a couple of weeks left in the season. Uh, tournament going forward at the end of the year for nationals. You know, so you want to start, you know, moving forward and, and playing on all cylinders. And it looks like Mars is doing that right now. Absolutely. And let's talk a little bit about the Downingtown team as well. And I think, you know, the first one that comes to mind is Pasco in the eight jersey. She's a playmaker out there, does a hell of a good job uh, with the ball carries and keeping that, consi you know, just keeping that calm in the backfield. Yeah. Yep. Um, but I also liked a lot of the work from the one, two, three here today of Snow, McKerns, and Dixon Logic. So yeah. I think they had some very big carries. They were supporting themselves. They were there for the seal-offs. Like, really good work from that tight three. No, I agree. I, and also, you have to, uh, you know, the, the combination of uh, the law firm of McGinnigan and McGinnigan, right? Uh, uh, that's, absolutely. That's just, that's just a solid play right there. Yeah, yeah. And they, they, they really, that 9-10 combo of those two sisters, they work really well together. I think they're responsible, really, for that terrific ball distribution that resulted in that mm -hmm. try at the end of the game. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, look, looking forward to meeting up with them again and, uh you know, good day for Morris, and, uh, you know, I think both teams can hold their heads up high. I think the weather's changing again. Might be. It's, it's looking a little lighter out there now. Well, all right, Gino, appreciate it. Signing off uh, from uh, Menon Arena here um, after uh, the 24-7 uh, victory for Morris over Downingtown. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and we'll see you next weekend. Thanks, Gino. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye.